doggies today yeah it's so good to see everybody as you may have noticed this is pre-recorded <laughs> it is and we're entertaining today uh glenn has some friends in from out of town that he hasn't mm-hmm. seen in over like yeah 25 years or so 25 years so it's like really wild and they've never been to new york before so yeah we're out and about on a um, sunday yeah. so today <laughs> We have a few fun things for you. Uh, one of the main things in A Course in Miracles is this, uh, and, and what I've said before is uh, uh, the hero's journey. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, so I've said this a lot, like half of the half of A Course in Miracles is like sort of running away from the world that's like kicking your butt. Like, run, like, like ah, this is awful. It's like hitting bottom and you turn around, you open The Course in Miracles or any number of other books that, are, that we study around here and you decide to change your mind about who you are and what's going on. And then you find what is your what you want to bring the world. You let go of what, the, what you think the world is asking of you. And what you do is you give the world uh, by listening to the voice that likes you, the Holy Spirit, listening to the Holy Spirit, the voice that likes you, about giving something to the world. And in this section, we're going to take up that idea of a hero. Who is the hero of, of the dream? dream. <laughs> if I can't laugh, I don't want any part of it. Exactly. Right? Which is why we um, you know, have a do good what time. We do Glad you're here. <clears throat> have a good time with it. Okay. This song has hand motions. This This song has hand motions. Glenn is going to do them. (laughs) And you can chair dance if Uh you like. Uh, So follow along. It's a call and And a response. response. So here we go. Two, three, four. My heart, my soul, my mind, my strength. My heart, my soul, my mind, my strength. My hands, my feet, my everything. My hands, my feet, my everything. My heart, my soul, my mind, my strength. My heart, my soul, my mind, my strength. My hands, my feet, my everything. My hands, my feet, my everything. I give to Holy Spirit to bring miracles and blessings. I give it to Holy Spirit to bring miracles and blessings. Let go of grievances. Just a little bit of willingness to accept forgiveness and we are free. Yeah. Let go of grievances. Just a little bit of willingness to accept forgiveness and we are free. <laughs> Second verse with jazz hands. I know, what are miracles? Miracles will come to me. Miracles will come to me. When I forgive the world. When I forgive the world. Miracles will come to me. Miracles will come to me. When I forgive the world. When I forgive the world. When I let go of grievances. Just a little bit of willingness to accept forgiveness. We are free. Let go of grievances. A little bit of willingness to accept forgiveness, and we are free. We are free. We are free. 
let go of grievances and we are free. We are free. We are free. Let go of grievances and we are free. All right. All right. Ready for it? Here's all, all the us. Can you do it all together? And the hand motions. Here we go. One, two, two. One, two, three, four. My heart, my soul, my mind, my strength, my hands, my feet, my everything. I give it to Holy Spirit to bring miracles and blessings. Miracles will come to me when I forgive the world. Miracles will come to me when I forgive the world. Very good. When I let go, bring up it like a hot potato. Just a little bit of willingness to accept forgiveness, and we are free. Yeah. Let go of grievances. Just a little bit of willingness to accept forgiveness, and we are free. We are free. Yeah. We are free. Let go of grievances, and we are free. We are free. We are free. Let go of grievances, and we. Are <laughs> Yay! Good job, everybody. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I've got so many good memories yeah. of that. So much and fun. it's good. And it's good to remember that um, the the biggest obstacle often in being free is a little bit of willingness. Yeah. To just to change your mind. I know. Could we change our minds? And that's a lot about what forgiveness. Or can I'm we, we just be willing is. to change our mind? Yeah. Can we just be? Can we just start there? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I'm not even willing to change my mind. Well, yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I've really bought into a lot about being right. Yeah. Right, because you know, I've, I've studied. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've got, I've got degrees and names and literally like there are initials after my name and stuff. I know, I know things. Right. <laughs> I want to be right. Often, I do really want to be right, or do you want to be happy? happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd rather be happy. I would too, right? Because working with what is, mm -hmm. I have to let go of the way I, th my programming. We were talking, you know, we've mm -hmm. been talking about this. Our programming say it's supposed to be right. Right? It can't. I can't be happy with things that look that you know. Things have to change in order for me to be happy. Well, mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe if we let them be as they are, we'll know what they're for mm -hmm. and stop trying to place round holes into square pegs or pe square oh. pegs into <clears throat> round holes. Round holes. I don't know about you, but I felt like a square peg uh, <laughs> a few times looking looking you know to be accepted or or, yeah. or or integrated into systems that I had no business. Right. You know, in I didn't fit. It didn't fit because it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. It was not authentic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and 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 I know, and I know you've done the same thing too. Oh, yeah. Finding your place in the world, right? To fit into um, things that weren't right for me, and so now that I know who I am and I love myself, but you know. <laughs> more which we will be talking about a little yep. later on uh, the other uh, um, kind of fun thing that she does in this uh, section is she gives us uh, uh, she talks about what self the way we see the world is int intimately linked to why we want salvation mm -hmm. and like what is salalvation mm -hmm. and that's to, and that's actually uh, uh, today's today's lesson, lesson. So, well. lesson 318 18. right uh, in me salvations means and ends are one. Mm -hmm. So it says, in me, God's holy son are reconciled all, all parts, parts of, of God's heaven's, heaven's plan yeah. to save the world. Heaven's, heaven's plan. plan. So heaven in the Course of Miracles moment. is the moment. It's yeah. he, where we all exist. Uh -huh. what, can con what could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one <gasps> aim? All, all the, the parts, parts have one purpose and one aim. How could there be a single part that stands alone or one of more or less importance than the rest? Hierarchies. Wow. Right. Yeah. I am the means by which God's Son is saved because salvation's purpose 
is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me and in to everyone find, else. Yeah, to find, find the, the sinlessness. sinlessness. Where is the sinlessness in us? It's in us. Right. Yeah. That God has placed in me. I was created as the thing I seek. I was created as the thing I seek. Uh, wow, I'm loving myself right now. <laughs> I was created as the thing I seek. I know, so you can find you. I can find you. <laughs> I've lost myself. Uh, no, I haven't. No. I was created as the thing I seek. I am the goal the world is searching for. It goes to the next Get level. Damn, I am it. the goal that the world is searching, searching for. for. I am God's son, his one eternal love. I am salvation's means and ends as well. Let me today, my father, take the role you offer me in your request that I accept the atonement for myself. Now, Jackie, you remember this. We were talking, that was in mm -hmm. part of our, part of the uh, lesson. What's everybody's function mm -hmm. to accept the atonement for ourselves? Mm -hmm. she, she concludes with this sentence in the prayer. Mm -hmm. For thus does what is thereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled in you. Like, if I know uh, this about myself, I can know it for the world. Yeah. You know, and I don't have to beat anybody over the head with it. I can know it for myself. I wow. can, this, that's what's up, letting it be as it is. I don't have to change anybody. I don't have to make sure, like, monitor some bodies through space mm -hmm. in order to clamp down and control whatever is, you know. Um, I think is stopping me from having what I want, mm. right? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of what uh, we do in the world is pursue uh, a comfort, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the way uh, a lot of they, we're, we're taught our economy works, the way right. we're taught families work mm -hmm. is we pursue our own comfort. Right. right? Well, I, and I mean, you know, uh, that's not bad to, no. pur to pursue your own comfort, but the placing that above all else yeah right, is, it's easy is, to do yeah it is. it's a real temptation mm -hmm. yeah to make our first decision mm -hmm. and intent just to be to be comfortable mm -hmm. but we know that comfort doesn't produce uh, comfort isn't the guarantee of happiness truly because we know plenty of comfortable people that aren't happy truly, <laughs> truly. and i know people and i know mm -hmm. lots of people that aren't so comfortable mm -hmm. that are perfectly happy right right so, Asset management, outward appearances, material, mm -hmm. the way we, some kind of material hierarchy of need or a hierarchy of value. Those things don't predicate or don't mean happiness or fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And if we're on, you know, the course says over and over again, if, uh, uh, what do you want? Yeah. Like, what is this relationship mm -hmm. for? She asks us all the time, well, what do you want? What's it for? You don't mm -hmm. know what, you know, what's happening. That's a real good thing to keep asking ourselves. Mm. That's one of my own personal mantras. It says, what do I want? Do I want to be upset? Do I want to be in mm. conflict? Um, or do I want some of uh, 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 Yolanda's elderberry pie? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, I've been wanting to share this song from... Um, my latest EP, which is is the concept album for a musical that I'm uh, writing about my life story. I love the title of this musical. <laughs> I love the title of this musical. So, um, for many years, I identified myself as the alien love child. So, um, this the title of this musical is called The Church of the Alien Love Child Presents the passion of Reverend Yolanda. So it sort of talks about um, the way I've journeyed through this life. Well, in this particular... Um, it's a passion play. It is a passion play, yeah. And in this particular scene that I'm going to share with you uh, here in a minute, it's we are at the Church of the Alien Love Child, and we are experiencing... The circle of love meditation and i particularly really like the way um it was captured on uh the recording so i'm gonna play that for you but first i'm oh, gonna do our yeah i'm gonna ring the bell three times like we usually do and breathe and let the last bell less breath out on an ohm so here we go
Now, sometimes others don't take so kindly to our shine. They're stuck in the dark, and soon we forget our shine too. We can't see it. But alien love children go by another name. We are angels. Angel. So, I invite you to close your eyes with me now and let's together co-create a circle of love to remember that even in the dark, we glow. <sighs> this love begins in our hearts and moves out to our newly assembled family where this love joins arms and moves out of the building and into our towns, our states, our country, and our planet. This circle of love includes all that we like and all that we do not like. <laughs> everything in the world and everything in ourselves and offers it all a radical yes. As you listen to this song, as you receive this passion and sing along, take with you this question. What are you willing to release in order to love, to live your truth, to glow in the light and in the dark. Why do I feel so out of place? So out of touch with the human race? I don't seem to understand why my brother won't lend a helping hand Why do people tear apart Ooh, my tender heart Why does the night time seem so dark When the light shines inside my heart We are angels and we're struggling to be human. I tell you of the things I fear. I push away, then I pull you near. I tell you of my fantasies. Love the way that I speak honestly Why is it so hard to love The one I've been dreaming of Don't you see yourself in me Don't you see what we can be We are angels, we are angels, 
when we're struggling to be human. We are angels, we are angels, and we're struggling to be La 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 So I just wanted to share that experience. Yeah. With so you. in the spirit of uh we are angels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. Uh, and in the spirit of uh, in me, God's holy son are recognized, mm -hmm. are reconciled mm -hmm. all parts of God's plan to save the world. Mm -hmm. Now, I love how she talks about salvation because I, and I always say this, it's because it bears repeating. What is, what are we saving the world from? And what mm -hmm. are we saving the world for? Mm -hmm. Good questions. Okay, let's think about it for a second. Let what me, are you saving the world from? from? Maybe my, my uh, I feel like my own perception. Yeah, my, right, 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 right. Imposing my own, <laughs> own you know, yeah. like reaching into reality mm -hmm. and like, you know, messing it up, as they say, mm -hmm. an idea. Uh, so what are you saving it for? Locos, Homo, Stas, Supino, Bubuntu. May all, all beings be happy. Be happy. Yeah. It isn't like, mm -hmm. do the do people that look, I want everybody who looks like me <laughs> to, <laughs> to be, be happy. happy. No, it's no, not that. It, it, is, it, it isn't even like all mm -hmm. humans be happy. Right. May all beings. Beings. That is mm -hmm. beings I know, beings I, I don't, don't know, know. Uh -huh. beings I understand, beings, beings I, I don't, don't understand. understand. <laughs> anyway, we can just geek out here on on Sci like the oneness. So, but yeah. we do have another like little fun, fun <laughs> thing. Yeah. Here. The healing of the dream is hero of the dream. Chapter we're on chapter twenty seven. Mm -hmm. Uh in this section she's talking to us about uh social institutions. Mm. About when we come together, what happens when a bunch of people are seeing in the same way? Mm. Well, there, we do know what happens when a bunch of people are seeing the same way. The uh, really huge things happen. What would the hero of that dream be? Hmm. And how could we use the metaphor, use the understanding in A Course in Miracles of, of flipping the hero on its head and be able to understand our role in this social institution that is humanity, in our social interactions, what should be the center of our social institutions? What, yeah, what, should, what should we center in our social institutions? And what could we center? The hero of the dream is what she's asking us to center. Mm. So with that in mind, um, what I used uh, as our image this week is a. Uh, uh, do you remember the radio play? Uh, the, the serial, shadow, the, the, yeah. the serial adventures of, of the, the shadow. shadow. I remember that. I, I was really young when it was on the radio, but I do remember. You can it. still find it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, be before there were podcasts, ladies and gentlemen, there, there was, was radio the radio. plays. <laughs> <laughs> there, yeah, exactly. My dad used to work in the radio, uh, right? uh -huh. and we, radio uh, that was something we regularly listened to. Uh -huh. So, was, the yeah. serial adventures of the, the shadow. shadow. <laughs> so that so that's the idea of uh, what the hero of the dream and the serial mm -hmm. these serial adventures we have. Awesome. So, read the first part. Okay. The body is the central figure in the dreaming of the world. Mm -hmm. Above all, it tries to teach itself its pains and joys oh. are different and can be told apart. Oh. The body seeks in many ways to prove it is autonomous and real. It puts things on itself that it has bought with little metal discs or paper strips the world proclaims as valuable and real. I love that sentence. Okay. The body seeks in many ways to prove it is autonomous and real. It puts things on itself that it has bought with little metal discs or paper strips the world proclaims as valuable and real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. Here it is. Right here. <laughs> it's all here. Uh, sometimes it 
dreams it is a conqueror of bodies weaker than itself but in some phases of the dream it is the slave of bodies that would hurt and torture it we know wow. both of those things it just described the history of the world as right, we know right. it. <laughs> <laughs> the body and the phases of the dream. Mm -hmm. This is she lays it right out for you, mm -hmm. and I'm calling this the body and the phases, phases of, of the, the dream. dream. Yeah. The body, remember, mm -hmm. is the material world mm -hmm. and its conditions, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The body and the material world are the and its physical and its conditions are the central figure mm -hmm. in the dream. Mm -hmm. Okay, the body <laughs> and the material <laughs> world is. Mm -hmm. Now, now it's counterintuitive. It says, "Why would you say that I need to center this, you know, center this as far as a social institution?" We're gonna we're gonna come to that. I want you to hold that question. But this is in the premise when she's setting up the problem, setting up what you know what she wants us to look at. She wants to understand this very, very, very basic concept that the material world and our bodies, our physical bodies, are what we talk about as us and the world, mm -hmm. okay? That's just the way the language works. Mm -hmm. It's monitoring the conditions and actions of bodies through space. You could even say it's monitoring decay, mm. right? Monitoring the, the dissolution and the, the rising and falling of matter, if you were mm -hmm. gonna say it in a Buddhist way. Mm. Right. The rising and falling of phenomena. Yeah. Uh -huh. The central story is the origins and history of material objects. Mm -hmm. We were, we were little babies, and mm -hmm. then we grew up, and mm -hmm. then we had, got a scar, we fell down, and we got married, and we lost our hair. <laughs> you know, the material conditions of the body. Right. The central concern and the guiding rule is my comfort. Mm -hmm. That's the narrative mm -hmm. about how it was, uh, I, how I received it, or I was denied it. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. The, yeah, so, uh -huh. That's the framing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. the whole, that's the way we tell it. Right. right. And I either received my comfort or I <laughs> or didn't receive my comfort. Right. I get it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, and that's history mm. of material it objects. It is, yeah. And she says something, I think, that uh, sounds controversial, but really isn't if we think about it, that pain and pleasure are interpretations and judgments I make. Mm-hmm. Mm because we do know things that we do anyway, and even though they hurt, mm -hmm. right? And we do know that even though something might feel good, it might not be good for us. Oh yeah. So we do know that pleasure is not an indication of something being good for you. That's true. And pain is not an indication always of it's bad for you. Mm -hmm. Those are decisions I have made about my experience with this feeling or that feeling or that body or this body or that mm -hmm. material object. Okay. So that's the premise. So read that. So let's read the next. That's the setup. Okay. Right. Or <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, the dream, this is what, she, this is how she describes the dream. Okay. She defines work as doing senseless activities to get valuable <laughs> objects. Right. <laughs> And the, once once that happens, the, and when we get these material, we toss them away for senseless, senseless things, things we don't need, need and don't even want. Mm -hmm. Does that sound like a definition of consumption to you? <laughs> Does the me? So we work at senseless activities <laughs> to get valuable objects okay. and toss, toss them, them away, away for senseless for things. things that we don't even want. Mm -hmm. And so the experience, the ex this experience is conflict and it's war and it's law and it's the prison system mm -hmm. i mean we can even hire somebody to protect us that's right. you know hire another body to protect this body mm -hmm. right the goal of this thing is to collect more senseless things huh. so i can call it my own that's the goal of the dream the goal of the dream is to collect more senseless things and and call them my own and she says there are two phases to this dream. So the idea is that we move in and out of, we're moving in and out of phase one and phase two inside the dream. The dream has two phases, one in which you're the conqueror yeah. and the other in which you're the conquered. Conquered, yeah. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. And we that. oscillate between those two things. Mm -hmm. We go to work and we're the conquered or the conqueror. Mm -hmm. Or we come home and we're the conquered or the conqueror. Uh-huh. You know, I get it. Boy, that's, that's really very clear. Very it's clear. really super serious. Yeah. Super clear. So, uh, uh, read the next part I've highlighted. It's cute. 
Because this is where you got your theme for the day. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. So she says, The body's serial adventures from the time of birth to dying are the theme of every dream the world has ever had. As we've noticed. Absolutely true. This single lesson does it try to teach again and still again and yet once more that it is cause and not effect. And you are its effect and cannot be its cause. The world. Right? Yeah. Thus are you not the dreamer, but the dream. How willing are you to escape the effects of all the dreams the world has ever had? Woo! I'll take it. Okay, how willing, willing are, are you? you? Willing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say anything other than she just mm -hmm. wants to know. If you're willing. If you're willing. And then she didn't even say how much. Just how willing. <laughs> just a little bit. Maybe a mustard seed? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> Um, no one asleep and dreaming in the world remembers his attack upon himself. That and that is a, that is, is an true. attack. If you're putting yourself yeah. down, mm -hmm. you know, if you say you if you continually mm -hmm. tell the story about how you're broken, right? That's a that that's an attack upon ourselves. It is right. We continually the tell the narrative in which I can't have mm -hmm. what I want. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm you know and I and I've done that as well. I call uh, in my own cosmology. I call that the wet blanket feeling. Mm, it's like being doing, yeah. under mm -hmm. being under a wet blanket. It mm -hmm. just feels awful mm -hmm. creepy well that was my life for most of all of us are very familiar time. with that yeah, feeling yeah, yeah, of being yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's no alternative to it she right. says that introducing the hero of the dream the serial adventures of a, yolanda <laughs> <laughs> the serial <laughs> adventures <laughs> you know well that, i mean seriously i mean that's what i'm right i said i'm writing an autobiographical musical it, it is it's the, the serial, serial adventures. adventures of yolanda yeah so the mistake we make is that we are material form Mm -hmm. Right, and not the dreamer, but mm -hmm. the dream that we're the, this, that we think we're the dream and not the dreamer. Mm -hmm. Do you understand origins mm -hmm. and cause in that difference? Yep. The body is a figure in the dream. Mm. We give material its power to influence us instead of vice versa, mm -hmm. realizing that we're the power that influences material, mm -hmm. right? W the world isn't happening to us. I've said this before, bear, bears repeating because she really underlines it here. We're happening to the world. Mm -hmm. God is happening to the world. Oneness is happening to the world. Nothing is happening to oneness. The world is not happening to one oneness. The, the promise is that we can escape this dream, escape the this oscillating, moving back to conquer, conqueror, conquer, conqueror, mm -hmm. conquer, conqueror. Mm -hmm. We can escape this oscillation mm -hmm. if we will allow ourselves to be willing to see correctly, to have correct perception. Mm -hmm. And she, she does this in a really interesting way. She says, you forgot to laugh, <laughs> right? So what she's, what she's really saying is here mm -hmm. is that we take material form and it's our relationship to it very, very, very seriously. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And we take our relationship to physical things as our primary concern. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. The destruction of property, you know, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Whether or not my dress has a stain on it, you know. <laughs> Today it doesn't, but. <laughs> yeah, well. I <laughs> so the, the promise is, is to, you can't escape this dream. If you if you're willing to see correctly, mm -hmm. if we and seeing correctly means that we would see how silly it is to believe that some object has a will, and to laugh at the seriousness of confusing cause and effect. This is the central part of this lesson, and that's what I wanted you to hold in the hold in your mind. Yeah. Right. When she says some. When, you know, when she says it is the slave of bodies that would hurt and tor you know, that hurt and torture it, mm. you know, to laugh at the seriousness of confusing cause and effect. Your mm. body is not torturing us. It is the, it's the system that we've set up in which we value suffering in others and make hierarchies of pain and suffering in bodies to monitor you know, to say what's good and bad in the world and how we evaluate who we're supposed to be in the world. To see correctly means that we can laugh at feeling like the world is, is take, is, it, we have no ability to be happy in the material world and that, you know, mm. these uh, things have, these objects have wills and objectives. But anyway, let's... Mm. Well, I like, no, I love it. I mean, because... <laughs> uh, I, 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 
so many times I'm reminded that, well, what I've started doing lately is telling myself, you know, I don't have to do that to myself. Like when I'm torturing yeah. myself. When you're the conquered. Then, yeah, when I wallowing in the conquered. The, <laughs> conquer the, you know, the, vi the victim. And then I realize it now, you know, more quickly than I used to. And I get to say to myself, I say to myself, I don't have to do this to myself, you know. And then it does make me laugh. It actually does make I'm me doing laugh, it. you know, because I'm doing it. You so know? let's read um, this next part. We're going to get, oh, I love we're going to expand that. Thought yeah, no, that. I really love this part. Okay. Uh, let us return the dream he gave away into the dreamer who perceives the dream as separate from himself and done to him. Into eternity, where all is one, there crept a tiny, mad idea at which the Son of God remembered not to laugh. Uh, one of the most <laughs> famous, the most, uh, a uh, tiny, uh, mad idea. A tiny, yeah. mad idea. Mm -hmm. At which the Son of God remembered not, not to laugh. laugh. Yeah. The world you see depicts exactly what you thought you did, <gasps> except that now you think that what you did is being done to you. Okay. Uh, define projection. Uh, right, right. Oh, God, yes. The world you see depicts exactly, exactly what, what you thought you, thought you did, did, except that now you think that what you did is being done to you. <gasps> wow. Classic projection. You have no power to make this body stop its evil deeds because you did not make it and cannot control its actions, nor its purpose, nor its fate. The world, but demonstrates an ancient truth. You will believe that others do to you exactly what you think you did to them. <laughs> How childish is the petulant device to keep your innocence by pushing guilt outside yourself, but never letting go. I so know, just she's projecting uh -huh. it somewhere else. but Not ever taking responsibility. Not ever taking responsibility. It's still attached to you, though, even though you're projecting it outward, thinking that, oh, I'm getting rid of this. Not even consciously, like, mm -hmm. you know, you know. And that can be really humbling as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, the old adage is that when you point a finger, there's four back, four, exactly. four pointing oh, back to oh, us. Oh. You know, so um, she she says that this attitude is of a petulant child. Yes, to do projection means mm -hmm. it's so it's immature. Mm -hmm. So we can we hopefully should be able to laugh at it quicker, maybe right. forgive it quicker because we know it's it's just it's just a little bit of immaturity. Yeah, lack of maturity on our part. That's you know, what the it, spiritual yeah. maturity. Yeah, right. This ancient truth that the dreamer projects unhealed the thoughts, thoughts. We, onto the world. So, if you if we don't heal our traumas, we're going to give them away. Mm -hmm. We're going to see the world as broken if we don't heal our own trauma. And she goes, "You, the dream is a lie. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be funny. <laughs> it's supposed to be a jest." She mm. uses the word jest. If we're seeing correctly, the world is a jest. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes. She says she, she she wants us to laugh at the, some ideas here. I'm going to give you five of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, that time exists. <laughs> laugh with me. Right. Time exists. <laughs> <laughs> I, am a pris I am a mind that is a prisoner of a body. Mm. Should be funny. Right. <laughs> that material objects have independent wills and objectives. Right. That my innocence is predicated upon your guilt or the actions of a body. Mm -hmm. I'm innocent because you're guilty mm -hmm. or I'm guilty because of the actions of my body. Mm -hmm. My innocence is predicated upon <laughs> yeah. what, some ob what some body is doing. Mm-hmm. And the last one is, uh, I think, very, very difficult for Americans to escape. Mm. My That suffering is unavoidable. Mm. Wow. We re and, and as human beings, we really do believe that suffering is, is unavoidable. unavoidable. Mm. And maybe it has been for most of our lives. Mm. But she's offering you the idea that incorrect perception in which we see how ridiculous time, the prisoners that were prisoner of the body, if we see those things, it doesn't lead to suffering. So if we can see correctly, we never get to the suffering place that we are when we sleep, when we're sleeping in the dream. Mm -hmm. I get that. I know. Yeah. 
So think about that. I, I could be laughing at these things. These could be silly, <laughs> silly, silly see-through transparent ideas that had no ability to thread or upset my piece. Mm. I they do don't sometimes. have to do it. To <laughs> I myself. don't have to do this. I don't. I do do see what I say is, mm. I don't want to feel this way. Right. I just don't want to feel, and I'm generating mm. it. Right. Yeah. So what she so, so the next, next piece. He bids you bring each terrible effect to him, that you may look together on its foolish cause and laugh with him a while. <laughs> the secret of salvation is but this. Are you listening? The secret of Drum salvation. I want you to know that she waits until chapter 27 to give you uh, the secret of the salvation. Secret of salvation. <laughs> Just let, no, she doesn't. She, she doesn't really. She isn't many, many, much many earlier. times. Yeah. Okay. Um, where, where, where was that? Okay. Okay, here we go. The secret of salvation is but this. That you are doing this unto yourself. Period. Da, 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 da. Wait, that deserves a bell. <laughs> that you are doing this unto yourself. I'm doing it to myself. Yay! <laughs> no matter what the form of attack, this <laughs> still, still is true. true. No matter the form of attack. attack. Yeah, no whether matter, you're no. well, I think you're you're doing the mm -hmm. attacking. I'm doing the attacking. Some mm -hmm. institution is doing the attacking. Mm -hmm. It's always I'm doing this to myself. It takes mm -hmm. another perspective to see that. Mm -hmm. It takes a light-hearted perspective to oh. see that, oh. that in which I'm participating in you know in the system that is doing this, and I'm blaming what I am what I contribute to. That's interesting. I see how this ties. Together, I had an experience with someone yesterday where they actually <laughs> said something to me that was I I take as super insulting. However, I was in the frame of mind to be like, "Oh, that's not true," you know. I just and I didn't even bring it to their attention or what anything. Like that. Yeah, I was just sort of like, whereas before that would have, you know, how dare you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know who I am? Don't well, you not, know who I am? Not even that, but just, you know, oh, that's just, just me then. Yeah, just, you know, just um, uh, when someone slights you and they don't. Uh, you oh, know, I know. But on pretense of it being a joke. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but. But I, but I caught it and I caught my reaction to it all in a matter of seconds and I moved on. And I was so happy that that was the. You could have. You know, you know, could have. I could have tortured myself for that. blocks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. Okay. The okay. single lesson learned, learned will set you free, free from, from suffering, suffering whatever, whatever form, form it, it takes. takes. Yes, that's the promise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We the suffering is not inevitable right. if we learn this single. Lesson. lesson. And what's, what's the, the lesson, lesson again? Lesson? Um, that you are doing this unto yourself, no matter what form it takes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. And you will understand. Really. And you will understand that miracles reflect the simple statement, I have done this thing, and it is this I would undo. Claim that power. Yeah. Yeah. Claim I, that power. I have done this thing, and it is this I would undo. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. So I, if I did it, Mm -hmm. I, can I can undo, undo it. it. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing it, if I beat myself up, mm -hmm. I can s not beat myself up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can heal. I can do self-care. Mm -hmm. I can tell the truth. I can be honest about my feelings. I can be honest about my doubt. I can be honest about my ignorance. Mm -hmm. mm. Instead of acting on it. It's the whole experience of being us and being who we are. And acknowledging, it's like, I am this, I'm God moving through this. I am this expression of God. There's nothing, there's nothing inherently broken or anything. There's nothing in me that can stop me from expressing the will of God. Unless my own thoughts about how it's supposed to be, right? right. Versus letting the flow happen, letting the moment happen, letting heaven be here, letting heaven inform my decision. Yeah. Salvation is the secret you have kept, but from, from yourself. yourself. All right, mm -hmm. read this next bit. When you forgive, when you forgive the world your guilt, uh -oh. you will be free of it. Uh-oh. 
Uh -oh. Miracles will come, come to me when I forgive the world. <laughs> when you, you forgive, forgive the, the world, world your guilt, guilt, you will be free of it. Whose guilt? Ha what's wrong with it? It was like, when you forgive the world, your, your guilt. guilt. Your guilt. I know. When you forgive the world, I know. your guilt. There's nothing wrong with the world. It's my messed up my mm -hmm. messed up thinking or my messed mm -hmm. up judgment mm -hmm. or my desire to see a hierarchy of value and asset mm -hmm. management or, you know, power over my desire to control and mm -hmm. belief that, you know, a body has contains inherent meaning. Mm. That's suffering. It is. When you forgive the world, your guilt, <laughs> you will be free of it. <laughs> it's innocence. The world does not demand your guilt, nor does your guiltlessness rest on its sins, the world's sin. Yeah. sins. Yeah. Uh, you're not good because the world is bad, <clears throat> and you're not bad, bad because, because the, the world, world is, is bad. bad. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's all a neutral thing. Yes. Because Which uh, we assign meaning. To. Yes. Yes. And you get to want what you want. Right. You get to prefer. That's right. Uh, like, uh, I prefer caramel over chocolate. And I prefer wigs. <laughs> <laughs> so you get so, but those aren't things that those are those are items of expression yeah. and taste. They aren't. They don't have value in meaning right. to, to my 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 you know the heaven. Right. You know to one this moment to this yeah oneness. to this moment doesn't it, it arise to the level of being me. Mm -hmm. You know my tastes aren't me. My thoughts aren't me. Mm -hmm. So my wigs aren't me. <laughs> They're pretty, though. <laughs> anyway. The wigs think they're you, though. <laughs> you they have talk. a life of their uh, own. You should hear them talk. <laughs> the one thing that is impossible is that you be unlike each other, that they both be true. This is the only secret yet to learn, and it will be no secret. You are healed. What's the only secret we have left to learn by tw chapter 27? That it is impossible that you be unlike each other. That expands in my heart and soul and mind and strength right now. Um, it is impossible that I be unlike each other. Okay, so why wouldn't you center somebody, the, the hero of the dream? The mm -hmm. hero of the dream is somebody who believes that they're a body and mm -hmm. they're a mind trapped in a body, mm -hmm. that the world's happening to them. Mm -hmm. So. When and that's a that's a good portion of the world, if mm -hmm. not like ninety nine percent of it or whatever. I'm not going right. to do percentages. I don't know percentages, it's... but I'm saying a lot. But we're not. She's asking us not to live in that world. She uh -huh. calls that world the dream. Right. <clears throat> so how do we live and create social institutions that are not in the dream? Mm. Well, we in order to do that, we have to center the hero of the dream. You meet people on their belief that they are a material body. Oh, I see. And you, and you don't challenge somebody and beat somebody over the head with a oneness and unity and all yes, of this. You feed them. They're not ready. Yeah. You feed them and you shelter them and you dry uh -huh. their eyes uh -huh. and, uh -huh. you, you know, help yeah. them manage, you know, their upset. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't tell them that they're ridiculous for feeling that way. Right. Or you, you really should read a book on projection, Louise. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that. I know. I have made that mistake before. Well, I think we all uh, have. Uh -huh. And so what do we do with encountering and meeting the meeting people that aren't living, it, don't want to live in the moment. Right. Don't want to live in the here and now. Right. Don't want to be in the oneness. Don't want to, what we call, you know, live in heaven. Don't want to have anything to do with the kingdom of God or anything like that. What do yeah. we do? Well, I think we just know that for them, for ourselves. Right. Like, we just know it. Right. You know? And we don't uh, be aggressive about trying to uh -huh. save someone. Or try to control their, yeah. their, their, their state of mind. Their state anything. of mind or their, yeah. or their movement through space or uh -huh. where they go and what they do and uh -huh. what they say. Because, they, because they're, they're not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. The secret to salvation. What's the secret to salvation? You're doing this unto yourself. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing, doing it. it to me. So I can yeah. undo it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and what's the method to get out of this? Ha, 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 ha. Laughter. <laughs> oh, and you're going to laugh at this next song I'm going to play. You're going to laugh. Helping us to see the cause of things. Mm -hmm. Helping us to see origins instead mm -hmm. of symptoms. 
Yeah. Origins instead of symptoms. Mm. Causes instead of effects. Instead mm. of playing whack-a-mole with the, with the symptoms, we could be playing, let's create a new paradigm mm. based on what works. <laughs> and we're doing this to ourselves, no matter yeah. the form it takes. Mm -hmm. And recognizing the form that we put it in is, is, is supposed to be kind of fun. It's like, oh, I caught myself confusing cause and effect. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm so silly. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. <laughs> reacting to them and like negatively reacting to them and wrestling to the ground actually keeps them in place. Mm -hmm. I used to think that I, and that I needed to take my ego to the River Jordan <laughs> and baptize it. Right? That was what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I leave it alone and it goes away. Mm. I don't involve it. I don't react. I don't keep it in place. Managing effects and symptoms. This is, that's, that, this, that's the idea that the material is me. The material mm. is us. It sh could be this reversal. She's asking us to make this, a, make this reversal, to take responsibility for our own suffering. But she asks us, you know, the, our own material suffering in the world. Uh. That's realizing that we've confused cause and effect. Right, 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 right. Uh -huh. But the world has confused cause and effect. Mm -hmm. And so we're tasked with, May, uh, uh, addressing the suffering of the world, mm. knowing that they're one and with us, and that there are the, uh, that everyone's okay, including ourselves. Mm. But they don't know that. We can't ask the world to know that because we know that. We must act on the truth, while. Others are not in, not present. What good part? The world is always peaceful, and we don't act. We don't. What we act outside of that. Guilt keeps us confused about yeah. who we are. Yes. Yeah. And so we project onto the world. And please, people project onto us. Right. You oh, know. Yeah. For this sure. This is this is the way a lot of it happens. Mm -hmm. Guilt keeps us confused about who we are. Guilt about our bodies, guilt about mm. the condition of our bodies, guilt about the condition of our homes, guilt about the material world and the shape and man and shape and the shape and movement of it. We feel guilty about those things. She's asking us to laugh at that idea <laughs> that we could be knowing the truth and still be able to be in the world and help those that are suffering mm. in material. Make the material world the reason for existence, as existence is suffering. That's the problem. Making the world oh, oh. the reason for our existence. I see. Yeah. You're stating that as manage, what the like, problem is. Like, yeah. like, I am my house. I am my car. Right, I am, right. If something happens to whatever's going on, and I'm devastated, right? Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. my identity is in, you mm -hmm. know... Um, a book or mm -hmm. you know whatever it's she's asking us to really examine and be aware and catch ourselves when we do that and mm -hmm. just go oh, oh and not take ourselves so seriously not right. take the world so seriously <laughs> because the perspective of wholeness and oneness is joy remember that I got it's the joy, 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 joy where is it <laughs> where we are the joy we, the, which is our default setting, mm -hmm. is is the all beings part of may all beings be happy. Right. And we don't live in the shadows anymore. And we don't, we aren't concerned to tell the stories of our lives and the narrative of our lives about this body moving through space. Mm. We talk about ourselves as our development, as the as the, uh, the development expression as the of the child of God. Mm. Oh, I love that. Yeah. We talk yes. about our relationships in community. I'm I was in a family and I learned mm -hmm. this in a church and a mm -hmm. and a and a job and then we you know we did this and just all of these things. Mm -hmm. We could tell the story and narratives about ourselves quite differently if we did not center material. But most of the world is centering material objects. Mm. So we, we we acknowledge that and say, I'm not here to fight. Or to repress or to manage anything, I am here to to relieve, to be a place of peace, and to prepare 
a feast for the world. Da, 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 and that da, is Church with a Two Drink Minimum. <laughs> I'm Reverend Glenn. I was just I know. saying, who are you? I'm Reverend Glenn Morton Ganaway, your favorite anarchist preacher. Mm. And I'm really glad that you're here. Oh, me too. That was fun. That was a really great lesson. And was that I fun? have something for you to laugh with. Oh, good. <laughs>
Did you see that you sachet? That? I know. That sachet Shantae. Mm-hmm. She has changed clothes since then. <laughs> but, I know, right? But this is, this <laughs> is the, the same thing I was wearing. Yeah, exactly. We love you. We love you. Thank Stay you. Stay tuned for Jacqueline. Yes, something genuine's coming up next. We love you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye.